Hi, I'm Mike Vernon with MichaelBurtonFilms.org, located in Salt Lake City, Utah. And we're here talking about using Microsoft Windows. Now I want to talk to you about how to save a file with a different name. This is very helpful, for example, if you create a file in Word or Excel, and then you decide you want to change the name, or like let's say, for example, you're creating a spreadsheet for your budget for the month of January. And then come the next month, you want to use the same spreadsheet, but it's for the month of February, and you want to separate it. You don't want to resave over the January one, so you're going to want to relabel that February and save it to either the same location or another location. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. Let me start out by saying that Windows XP is a registered trademark of Microsoft, and I am in no way affiliated with Microsoft. Okay, to save a file with a different name um, is very important because... You might want to re reuse some of the same files and eventually change the name so that you don't re-save over the uh, the old file so that you still have the old file. Um, I've gone ahead and opened a Word document here called Document 1. That is the default name for any Word document when I open it up. Um, we're going to go ahead and just type in a bunch of jargon here. Okay. Now let's save this document. We've saved it. It's Let's just go ahead and save as, and we're going to choose it to go to our desktop. Okay. Now down here, we can it automatically chooses the first couple letters of our uh, of our text. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change this to test document, and then we're going to scroll over here to save, and it's automatically going to save it to the desktop. So now, as you can see up in the upper left hand corner, our document now is called test document Microsoft Word. Let's go ahead and close out of this document. Now, as you can see over here on our desktop, we've created a file called test document. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this and reopen this because what we want to do is, let's say a couple months have gone by in our test document, whatever we typed in there was really important, but we need to make some changes. But even though we make the changes, we still want to keep the original file. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our original file. And then let's say we want to make some changes by maybe dropping some of this text down. You know, maybe we want to add some text here. Maybe we want to add in some numbers or something. Then what we're going to do is we, we, when we go up to File, we don't want to click Save because what that's going to do is overwrite our existing test document, thus erasing what we've had originally. So if we want to keep the original and save this as a, a new separate file, we're going to want to go to Save As again. Now this time when it comes up, it's going to bring it up as the old name, Test Document. You do not want to click Save just yet. Let's say we want to add in Test Document 2, so that we have like Part 2. Actually, better yet, let's write Part 2. Test Document Part 2. Now we can either hit Enter or left-click with our mouse on Save. We've chosen to save it to the desktop. It now saves, if you look in the upper left hand corner, as test document part two. We can now close this document and we see that on our desktop we've now created we now have two documents created. We have test document and test document part two. That is how you successfully save a file with a different name, thus organizing your desktop or your, your computer a lot better.